Hey guys, it's December 1st, 2010, and today I want to review a game that came out about 12 years ago. Now, before people think I'm a little crazy, for those of you who remember back in 1998, a game called Falcon 4. This game was made by Microprose, and this is probably the most realistic combat sim, even today, that has ever been put out. Now, although this got a lot of acclaim, and it was very realistic, um, it had a, just as many bugs. And although many groups and uh, mods were out there and patches, uh, it still really didn't fix the game. Until a group called Lee Pursuit came around in 2005, they revamped the game, calling it Falcon 4 Allied Force, and they fixed all the bugs and they put in all the uh, the most uh, memorable uh, mods and fixes from the original and it's now a stable game and although the graphics don't hold up to today's standards in many respects uh, it makes up for it in the realism uh, part uh, every dial every switch and pretty much uh, the world around you that's going on the planes that are landing and the uh, air traffic control uh, it makes it uh, a very realistic uh, world and although the explosions and stuff like that aren't as realistic as you would expect uh, this is still one of the most uh, one of the best combat sims you could probably buy today uh, the manual alone is a couple of hundred pages long so I wouldn't even call this a video game I would call it more of a combat simulator and uh, the reason I bring it up now is because uh, of recent news articles of North Korea attacking South Korea. Well, not only does this game uh, take part in the Korean Peninsula, but also in the Balkans. So uh, you get to play like two campaigns actually. And uh, it's very interesting that one of the campaigns takes place in Korea in the year 2010. So I found that very uh, prophetic. So all the stuff that's going on now with Korea and a possible war breaking out between North and South Korea, I found that very amusing, to say the least. So I just popped this back in and uh, started playing it again, although I do have to go back to the manual and start remembering all the uh, keys and all the, uh, all the stuff that each uh, knob and switch does because uh, I haven't been back to this and I haven't played this in a long, long time. So, uh, again, anybody into uh, combat simulators, uh, try and check this out. I believe the uh, most updated patch that Lead Pursuit came out with was, I think, 1.0.13. So, uh, check it out, and you can download it from their website. Anyway, guys, uh, for anyone who wants to uh, leave comments, let me know if you have this game, and let me know if you uh, download it and what, your, uh, what you think about it. I just thought it was a really, really good game back in 1988, and I still think in 2010, this is probably the best combat simulator you can buy for the uh, PC that's uh, as realistic as uh, they made it. Anyway, guys, take care and stay safe, uh, and uh, keep one eye on the news and one eye on your computer screens. Take care. Bye.